Josephine, it's been long since I saw you. How have you been and where have you been hiding? Sarah, I am around. I am just been busy looking for solutions to my problems. Sarah, my marriage is bleeding, so I am just always moving looking for men of God to help pray for me. Now, for the past two Sundays I haven't been to church because I had schedules to meet the powerful man of God Prophet Jonah of his Power Gospel Church. My sister Josephine, you have not yet left this character of going from one servant of God to another looking for prayers. How can I stop? I will only stop at the day I see a change in my marriage. Sarah, my husband is still the same, he still drinks like no man's business, womanizing everywhere, and honestly there is no peace in that marriage. So I strongly believe that one day I will meet a servant of God who will pray for me and my husband will give his life to Christ and change. I also want a peaceful home but I made a mistake for not seeking God's face for a husband when I was at the junction of marriage. Josephine, for your case I have given up. I have always told you that you are also God's child, and he hears you too when you pray, why do you still continue to look for servants of God and prophets? Do you know that we are living in the end times where there are very many wolves in sheep clothing calling themselves prophets, pastors, and you could easily collect many different evil spirits in your life from visiting false prophets using demonic powers to prophesy? Sarah, I know I am also God's child and he hears me too when I pray. But these men of God are super powerful that I believe when they pray God hears them very fast more than me. And this prophet Jonah if you see him, you will be amazed, I should take you to him sometime. Josephine I give up on you. All I can do now is pray for you. One month later. Rose, you are so <laughs> funny. By the way, don't forget tomorrow we are going to meet prophet Matt Johnson. I heard he is more powerful than even that liar prophet Jonah. That he performs wonderful miracles and when he prays for you, you see instant changes. I can't forget that. I need the servant of God's prayers so desperately Josephine. How is your husband, any changes so far? Because Prophet Jonah had prophesied that you would start noticing change in him immediately. How is he? Rose, be serious. If there was a change in him, would I still be asking that we go and see Prophet Matt Johnson again? My husband is even worse than before. Imagine last night he almost beat me up. Honestly I am so disappointed in that so-called Prophet Jonah. Imagine after all the money he asked from me as seed, my six months savings which I sowed to him. He lied to me and the situation is still here intact, in fact worse than before. I thought it was only me he lied to. My situation did not change too. Anyway, let us try Matt. I have heard great testimonies from people he prayed for. I am sure this time we shall see results. Let us keep pushing. Okay Josephine, let me call you later, I want to go buy some groceries. Bye. Oh thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I welcome all of you to this evening's deliverance service. Hallelujah. I can hear in my spirit someone by names. Josephine from Round Street, your husband is Thomas Richardson. You have visited every servant of God looking for results and changes in your husband's life but you have not seen any change. But today, God is saying it is done, it is done. But, he only wants you to sow a seed into the life of the servant of God. A seed of $10,000 only and after that, he will not only change your husband and bless your marriage but he will also bless your finances and your children. I am the one, I am Josephine sir. I will do whatever Jehovah El Shaddai demands, I will sow $10,000 into your life sir. Thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. Blessings, blessings to you Josephine. All your prayers and heart desires have been answered this very day, the next evening deliverance service, you are only coming to testify of God's wonderful doings. Amen. Before I drop another big prophecy, that will make someone dance this evening, let us dive into today's sermon. Our sermon's title today is The Blessedness in Sowing Big Chunks of Money in the Life of the Prophet of God. Choir, come and sing this song I love, the one that says, So, so, sow a seed and you will reap one hundredfold oh 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 and keep reaping oh oh oh. Come choir and join me. Rose, my problems are over, God is good, good, good oh. 
God has changed everything today. That night. Useless woman, I noticed some money like $10,000 missing from our joint account. Tell me, what did you do with the money? I, 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 Thomas, I, gave it as an offering to a prophet who was praying for the well-being of our home. You did what? No one plays with my hard-earned money, you know I put the biggest percentage of my own money in that joint account. Thomas have you slapped me? No, I haven't. I have just tickled you. The next time you will do anything this stupid, I will slap you until you see stars. Nothing is working out in this marriage. The day I sow the seed to Prophet Matt, that's the day I get slapped. Sarah told me God also hears my prayers when I pray because I am his child. I will start praying for myself. Tomorrow I will talk to Sarah to guide me on how to pray and let God hear me. Sarah, thanks for honoring my request and coming to meet me. Anything for you my sister. Ah, uh, it's about my issue of moving from one servant of God to another, I have finally had enough, lost a lot of money in paying for something called seed. You win Sarah, I want to start praying to God for myself, I believe that since I am also a child of God, he hears me too when I pray. Thank you Jesus. Josephine I have been asking God to open your eyes. I thank God that he has answered my prayers for you. You know what? Laziness is one problem that this generation of Christians have. We never want to seek God rather we want others to seek God for us. Hence you see someone moving from one church to another, one servant of God to another looking for people who will pray for them. Some have even ended up in the hands of false prophets who use demonic powers to prophesy and perform miracles. 1 John 3, 1-2 says see what great love the Father has lavished unto us, that we should be called children of God, and that is who we are. Josephine, as Christians, we are all children of God. In Genesis chapter 3, we see that God loved to commune with Adam and Eve as he would come every day in the cool of the day to them. God desires to commune with each and every one of his children, he wants us to come before his presence so that he can relate with us. So that when we have any challenges we present it to him. But unfortunately, some of his children keep running away looking for others to pray for them. Philippians 4, 6 says do not be anxious for anything, but in prayer and supplication make your requests known to God. That passage does not say, run to different servants of God for prayer but rather you as Josephine, make your requests known to God. I do not mean that going to men of God is bad, but you as an individual, do you first seek God for yourself. Many Christians today are roaming in different churches for them to be prayed for, and paying all sorts of money in form of seed, sacrifice, etc. to thieves and hungry servants of Satan masquerading as servants of God forgetting that they too can pray and God will answer them. My sister, it is time to start seeking God's face by ourselves since he assured us that when we seek him with all our hearts, we shall find him in Jeremiah 29, 13. Sarah, personally those words have hit my spirit and I have learned a lot. From now henceforth, I will make it a daily routine to seek God for myself so that he can answer my prayers since I am also his child. That evening. From today this room will be my prayer closet. A place where I come to meet with my God, reading his word and praying to him. Lord Jesus, I am sorry because of the ignorance I had that made me to keep roaming everywhere looking for prayers and yet I am also your beloved child. Lord, forgive me, from today give me the grace to present myself in your presence every day. I present Thomas my husband into your hand, change him Lord, change him Jehovah, no one can shame this man except you Jesus. Interrupt the journey of his life as you interrupted Saul in the book of Acts, encounter my husband my king, bring peace into this marriage, in Jesus name. She continued to seek God in prayer as, search his word daily and fast for her home. Father, Romans chapter 8 verses 26 says, Likewise the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses, for we do not know how to pray, or what to pray for, but the Spirit himself makes intercessions for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Today sweet Spirit, I have come again, you my helper, help me to pray.
My brethren, this is my testimony after stopping looking for different people and servants of God to pray for me, but instead seeking God's face as an individual for two years. This decision was the best decision I made for my entire life. After starting to seek God, I started discovering marvelous things about God as my Father, relating closely with Him, I also started growing in my spiritual life, hearing God for my personal situations and even my husband had an encounter with God. He is now a changed man and a Christian. God desires you and I to seek Him first at an individual level. It is not bad to seek help from servants of God whom God has led you to go to. But let us learn to be women and men of God's presence. I hope you were blessed by this short video. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thanks. Bye.